Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Curly's new song, Urch and Destroy, which is the third song off of her upcoming EP titled Oversoul. I've been covering each of the songs as they come out, and we've been getting one roughly about every four to five weeks. I think this pattern is going to continue with a new song in sometime in late April, and then by the end of May, early June, we'll have all five songs. Uh, and then we should be getting music videos. That does seem to be the plan, based on what I've heard. Uh, Curly is working again, once again, with uh, producer Crash Cove, and we are exploring the darkness. Uh, shadow work is sort of the theme of this song, and of course the theme of her entire last record, which, by the way, I've reviewed on this channel, um, along with all of Curly's records. And uh, she was teasing this as being a return to the darkness. And so uh, we, of course, have to have a song on this project. There is no light without the dark. That sort of contrast is important. And the context of shadow work for liberation, for personal fulfillment, for, you know, uh, spiritual symbiosis, it's important to do the shadow work. Who's the I I seek to defend? By making them wrong because of my sensation up against the one and the all, and raising their powers by condemnation. I've created underworlds by feeding the beasts instead of starvation, swallowed up by the sunshine on a trip to the dark side. Search and destroy like fear is the only evil, bringing the love to damnation. Who believes in good and the bad and fuels the illusion of separation? I used to fight the hate with hatred, ended up on the same vibration, swallowed up by the sunshine on a trip to the dark side. Here, And then we repeat the chorus. Uh, the central point here is that I've created underworlds by feeding the beasts instead of starving them. Um, this is something that she explores a lot on her Shadow Works record. And it's something that uh, Carl Jung uh, in psychology talks a lot about, as well as others. Um, acknowledging the moments or the many times habitually that you have fed your own darkness. And sometimes that's something that um, you have to face and not be afraid of. Fear is the only evil. Uh, the only great, the greatest thing to fear is fear itself, basically. Uh, so go to the underworld occasionally to kind of uh, take inventory <laughs> And cause a reckoning, uh, you know, obliterate what you can, do the purge uh, of the, you know, darkness and demons inside of you. And of course, we're talking inside of the mind. Um, the mind can go some, to some really dark places. And Curly is no stranger to talking about depression and fighting, you know, uh, fighting the, the sort of the darkness, the inclination to... Uh, it's a lot easier to feel inclined to feel sad, to feel anger, to feel uh, scorned than it is to feel the positive emotions. It's it's a sort of a cruel game. It's a cruel game. Uh, and so, and it's especially hard to maintain the positive emotions. Um, it's very easy to get stuck in the negative. And so it's it's about being aware of what you're feeding. And so this song, lyrically and conceptually, is a call to arms and a reminder to do battle against those demons periodically. Sometimes you just gotta crawl in the mo tr crawl in the trenches with those, you know, pesty little demons in your head to possibly purge them, purge them. Maybe once and for all, some of them will never fully go away. And there is an acceptance that needs to come with that. Uh, so. I am 100% once again in awe of how perceptive and poignant Curly is with her lyrics here. Uh, like a mantra, like a daily prayer to remind yourself, these lyrics just wash all over you. Um, there's a very transcendent, ethereal undertone to the melody, uh, but then there's also a almost hip-hop, heavy bass trap production. This song sonically is, in is, is kind of brutalist in that way. You know, um, everything is 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 heavy, delivered very kind of a thundering, uh, you know, um, a woofer shattering bass, uh, and you know, it's it serves for I think the story really well narratively and sonically that we will see on this journey. And I'm just so excited to see 
where we come out of this, where we go with songs four and five. Um, I do wish that if I had one critique is that, again, song's a little short. Um, there isn't really a bridge. There's a little bit of a instrumental sort of section, but there isn't really a bridge. And I would have loved to maybe heard her voice kind of rise, particularly on all of the new songs that we've heard, but also to a certain degree on, I think, all of Curly's songs since the Utopia era. So we're going back like a decade. Um, her voice is distinctly styled to have a very, I can't describe it quite accurately, but it doesn't, her vocals don't prominently jump out like the the um, clearness of her vocals that we once heard on some of her older songs. I do miss sometimes. I feel like we're trying to sound a little too much like a snake. It's it's very much, it's like very, I, I can't explain it very, I, I'm not doing a very good a job explaining it, but maybe if you can hear what I'm, what I'm saying. And, you know, it's a nitpick that it's not really a big deal. It's just something that I, you know, have noticed with her more recent output. And perhaps on this song, it's the most prevalent because, you know, there's just, it's not as much projection out of the voice. Um, maybe there's not as much support. You know, you can feel it. I, I want to hear a belt. I want to hear some belting. Uh, but maybe this wasn't quite the song for it. Uh, I'm really excited again for the music video. It looks like we're getting a, you know, uh, a completely new costumed kind of character that will go along with this song. Kind of stark black and white imagery. What are your thoughts on the new song and uh, the three songs we have so far from Oversoul? Please give this a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on her upcoming new music. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace, love, and light. Bye.